Gail was visiting me from a medical device company in California. I picked her up at the hotel in the morning and brought her in and they were using a very expensive chemical as part of their procedure. The samples can be very expensive that they're freeze drying. They maybe have a month or two of work into them. They may be irreplaceable samples. Gail came into the office to test the sample to make sure it was going to run properly. We pre-froze them and went to place them on the freeze dryer and the two of us went out to dinner. <laughs> Buckle up! Did you see that movie Thelma and Louise? No. There we go! <laughs> what kind of conversations did you have over um, dinner? Just um, life and experiences in, in the lab and outside the lab and then when we got in the car to leave she goes can I ask a huge favor is there any way we can stop back by Lab Conco on the way to my hotel I would really like to check my samples and make sure they're still okay I would sleep better tonight so that was kind of your your aha moment like yes it was a definite aha moment we got to do something about this. right that really stuck with me because when we went to redesign our next generation freeze dryers it became very important to me that our customers had the ability to know how their samples were even when they weren't standing there in the lab. They can get the information wherever they are off their cell phone. They can have the parameters sent to them. Say email my status in four hours. Okay. So it would email that data like at that hour. had been taken every 30 minutes. Yeah. By looking at a specific data point, it doesn't tell you a lot, but by looking at that point over time, mm -hmm. you can see how your shelf temperature is changing, how your vacuum pressure is changing, how your product temperature is changing. And by looking at those curves, that tells you how your freeze dry process is going. Now you can actually see that. You can actually see that with the push of the button on the front of the unit, knowing that you don't have a vacuum leak or that everything's going just as you planned is pretty valuable. Gail was so relieved when I showed her the end zone when the sample's done. For Gail, it was very hard for her to determine that. And the one thing she didn't want to do was end it too quickly. So she would end up freeze drying an extra day, day and a half. So this will take that cloudiness out and make it very clear when the freeze dry run is done. They will be sleeping better at night. <laughs>